is episode 175. Today we're talking about five ways to prep for your callback with the director and or producer and or network, whatever. All right. So stick around. Um, as always, I'm live on Facebook and I'm live on Instagram. Hey, Instagram. Hey, Facebook. As you come on in, say hi, hop on in. I got to make this quick because in 20 minutes, I have to coach my inner circle members. Those are my VIP clients and we have a 5.30 session. Well, 5.30 for me, 8.30 for some of you. But in case you've been under a rock, today is day 13 of my Level Up to Stardom series. This is in honor of the Bronze Lens Film Festival, which I am teaching at this month. I mean, like any day now, August 24th. I'm so excited, but I promise to go live every day up into the event just so that we can keep leveling up together. Thank you all to all of you who have purchased my book. It's been doing great. But this, today's subject came in from one of my clients in my Booking Magnet Academy. You know who you are. And so this is kind of an impromptu um, because this wasn't on my list of things, but I was like, oh, this is kind of good because this actually came up. I had another client who had a call back today in New York and she called me. And so I was like, let me talk about this for the people. So welcome. If this is your first time watching Actors Daily Bread, first of all, put a one in the comments. If this is your first time watching, you don't know who the heck I am. <laughs> but this show is where I teach you how to crush your auditions, book more work, and live a life that you love. Um, all my OG members, anybody who's watched me more than three times, put a three in the comments or OG in the comments. But I want to welcome all of you. If, if um, for all my replay watchers who will watch this later, what's up, replay watchers? Love you guys. So let's get into it because, like I said, I don't have time. I got to move. No, I do have time. There's plenty of time to do everything that I need to do. Let me rephrase. I'm on a, I, I'm on a schedule. How about that? Yes, come on. Yeah, whatever, Sam. OG, what's up, Brandon? OG, <laughs> yes. Hey, Sheila, welcome back. Hey, Jocelyn. Hey, Arisha. Hey, George. All right, so let's get into it. Again, this was a something that came up for one of my clients today. So, good job. You have, you got an audition. Woo! congratulations we're already in celebratory mode we're already giving gratitude right we already are doing that because you have already won you actually got an audition where hundreds of actors only wish they could get right then not only do you have the audition you kill the audition whether it's a self-tape or whether it's in person Woo! yes you killed it now you find out you have a callback and not just a callback like with the casting director, but a callback with the director and or director and producers and or the director, producer and the network. And so what, come up, what came up today, two of my clients today texted me, one tagged me on Facebook and said, what do I do? How do I prep for this? What's different? What should I expect? So for some of them, if you're, if you're a seasoned actor, this is probably old hat. So this isn't your video, but I'm going to speak to the people who have not experienced this today. Okay. So first thing, I have five tips for you on my trusty piece of paper here. And again, if you have to go, you miss any part of this, the replay will be available. So don't worry. Um, this is in no particular order. Okay. So number one, this, well, actually this is not, this is number one. Don't change a thing. Do not change a thing. Christine, what you mean by don't change a thing? I mean, don't change your hair. Don't change your lipstick. Don't change the clothes you wore. If you forgot, boo, I need you to pull up a picture from that day. I need you to find the video from that day. Don't, if you had 10 uh, tendrils, I need you to put 10 tendrils back. I have a great story for you. It's not so great because it didn't work out in my favor, but a lesson learned story, which is how we learn, right? which is why I share my story so you don't have to make those same mistakes. Years ago, anybody remember the movie uh, Ray with Jamie Foxx? <laughs> I got down to final callbacks. Like I had to drive to New Orleans. It was me, the director, the casting director, shout out to Mark Van Cannon, who I love. And he probably doesn't remember, I'm sure he doesn't remember the story, but Mark was a big fan of mine. I did a great job, got the callback. And it was me and like a couple of, couple other girls. And I remember thinking, I got that call back. And I was like, oh, cool. At the time, I had like this big, I used to wear this big weave, big curly weave. And that's how I went to the audition. That's how I got the call back. And I got that call back. And I was like, oh, this is the call back with the director. 
Jamie Foxx is gonna be in this. I have to do something extra to be better than I was. Can you relate? Anybody picking up what I'm putting down? Stay with me, because this may be going through your head. I was like, I wanna be better. And I, honey, I got me a new wig. I was like, ooh, it's set in the back in the day, whatever John, whatever, 70s, 60s, I don't remember, right? Let's just say it was the 60s. I was like, let me get me a 60s wig. Oh yeah, and I'm gonna change my clothes so it fits better. Honey, now I was cute. And I'll never forget it. I was at the callback in the waiting room in New Orleans, because back in the day, we had to drive like that. And I was looking through a magazine they had waiting there. And it was a full page spread of Anjanou Ellis. Now, if you don't know Anjanou Ellis, just Google her, boo. She was in, if you saw When They See Us, she's now nominated for an Emmy for that. Amazing actress. And I remember looking at this full page spread of Anjanou Ellis. I was like, ooh, she is fierce. Anjanou sits next to me and she's like, you look so beautiful. And I was like, thank you. Got my new wig. Like, that's what I'm thinking to myself. Well, let's just say, I didn't book the job. Anjanou booked the job. But let's go back a bit further. That's after she gives me the compliment, she goes in to read. Mark Van Cannon comes out to me. Again, the casting director, who's a big fan of mine at the time. He comes out, he sees me. He's like, Christine, you changed, you changed your hair. You changed your look. And I didn't get what he was trying to tell me. I was like, yup, I did. I look good, right? Like, that's what I'm saying to myself. I'm killing it. What he was trying to say without saying it and without making me feel bad, was why did you change your look? I called you back because of what you did the first time. Why you decided to change, I don't know. And I never forget that, I never forgot that. Now I'm not saying that's the only reason I didn't book it, because in hindsight, it comes down to height, you know, it was Regina King and who's Chocolate Girl, is, there's all kinds of things. The point is I was down to the final three and I just never forgot that moment. Never change a thing. Because you have no idea what it is that they, you don't know what they fell in love with. Y'all feel me? So you may think you're gonna do something better. You just need to be you. And you need to show up exactly how you showed up the first time. And I am being that picky. Any of my clients know I'm a picky ass coach because do exactly what you did before. If you don't remember, Go to look at your pictures. That's why I actually encourage you actually take selfies the day of an audition. Or if it's a self-tape, it's easy because you have the self-tape in your, in your files, in your computer. Do not change a thing. Hey, Laura. Hey, Marilee. Hey, Bianca. Hey, Jeanne. Hey, Arisha. Um, right? So that's the biggest lesson. So um, today, if you're just joining us, this is five ways to prep for your callback with a director and a producer, okay? And this is all the stuff. Y'all, if you have been enjoying these lives, can you imagine what we're going to do together in person? <laughs> Let's keep it clean, guys. Keep it clean. G-rated. G-rated. August 24th, if you want to work with me for the entire day, Instagram, the link is in my bio, Facebook, it's above or below. So let's move on to the next one. So we got that, don't change a thing. Um, number two, prepare to play. <laughs> I see the laugh emojis. Prepare to play Basic, and or be fluid, right? That means don't be so stuck because I have some clients who's like, they asked me to do something different and I freaked out and then I messed up. No. Prepare to play. Come ready like, all right, I'm an act. This You are an actor, right? You should be ready to go. Whatever they throw at me, yes. They want to see if you can be fluid and can you take direction. They don't. Nobody wants to work with an actor who has decided this is what I'm doing. You can't get anything else out of me. You're not going to get booked. So they will purposely throw things at you. Don't let it be a comedy. If it's a comedy, multi-cam, single cam, they'll purposely change lines on you just to see can you go with the flow. And not even the whole line. They'll change like two words to see if you can stay on book, how your memorization is, and can you just adjust. Okay? So prepare to play. Do not be stuck in it. What works is your character development. You don't change who the character is or what you created, but prepare to play. Expect them to throw you a curveball. And if you come with that mindset, you won't be thrown, which leads to my third tip. Set your expectations. And don't just set them in a bad way, set them high. We've been talking for the past 
13 days about your mindset and your imagination. Let's stop using our imagination as a lethal weapon and let's use it as a t useful tool, right? Because we're using it either way, right? So set your expectations. Most of you are going to callbacks or director sessions. As soon as you get the notice, you're like, oh my God, you stop breathing. Oh my gosh, what's going to happen? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. What do you want? What do, capital D-O, what do you want? Whatever you do want, which is to wow them, to book the gig, to have fun on set, to, to blow the minds of the director, right? That's what you want. So focus on that. What you focus on expands. What you think about, you bring about. So why would we think about the bad? Now, your inner voice, negative inner critic, is going to come up and tell you the bad. We're putting them to the side and focusing on what we do want, okay? I got to move because I have clients in 10 minutes, because I sure want to be long-winded today. I'm in the mood. <laughs> But I have a two-hour session with my inner circle client, so I will get a chance to talk. Uh, okay, tip number four. So we did number one is don't change a thing. Number two is prepare to play. Number three is set your expectations. Oh, number four. This is juicy. Hey, RT, Augustus. Hey, cuz. My Bermuda fam in the house, right? Okay, number four is prep for a full house. I told my client this today. Shout out to you in New York. You know who you are, right? That was a bad wink. Side, little sidebar about me. I'm the worst winker on the planet. Okay, I'll prove it to you. Here we go. And this is the eye I practiced on. Wait for it. <laughs> Don't ask to see the left eye, honey. Okay. I haven't practiced the left eye. I'm going to wing it. Hey. <laughs> if my husband was here he would be dying that's legit my practice and this is the eye I'm practicing let me do it one more time for y'all y'all ain't ready for this hold on yeah so <laughs> look everybody ain't able okay some of y'all have we all don't have the same talents I legit have been working on that right eye for at least 10 years. And that's as good as it gets, as good as it has gotten. So number four is prep for a full house. What do I mean? I told my client today over the phone, she was like, what am I supposed to expect? <laughs> D. Weston, what are you doing? I was wink, I was showing you my wink game. So you don't like it? Okay. <laughs> what I mean is this. I'd rather tell you to prep when you have a callback. I want your mind to prep. There's going to be 30 people in that room. There's going to be 30 people. It's going to be a small room. They're all going to be staring at me. I'm ready for it. It's going to be 30 people. And Mr. Lima George said that was lame. Listen now. Yes, let's focus on my earrings. How about that? <laughs> he says sad. All right, y'all. Can we put, let's switch, the, let's switch it up. I already spoke to what my, my weaknesses are. The beauty of expecting a full house is that when it only turns out to be six people, you won't be freaked out. I never forgot my first time auditioning for NCIS here in LA. No one told us. They were like, oh, it's, it's on tape with producers, but I didn't know that could mean anything. I walked in that room. The room was a little bigger than this office. And it was like 13 people in there. And I remember walking in like, Hey, everybody, it was, it just, it can throw you. So prep for a full house and anything less than the number you pick is going to be gravy. And also keep a bonus tip. Remember, you're not acting for the room. This isn't a theater audition. You're acting for the camera. So even if it is 50 people in there, all you need to worry about, and not worry, all you need to concern yourself with is the camera. Because even at the end of the day, with all those people in the room, all they're going to do is go back and look at your footage from the camera. Okay? That is a golden tip worth thousands. Trust me. Expect 30 people. There'll be six. And you'll be like, oh, I, I expected 30. Last tip before I go, because my inner circle clients are waiting for me. Again, if you like this stuff, this is the stuff we're doing on August 24th in Atlanta at the Bronze and Film Festival, Hyatt Regency Atlanta. Links are above or below or in my bio, okay? I'm rushing. Last tip, and by far the most important. So just let's do a quick recap. So number one, 
you have a director's or producer session, number one, we don't change a thing down to the hair, down to the clothes, down to the perfume you wore, down to the earrings, down to the draws. Like, I mean, the draws can be different, I guess. But I say no because the draws made you feel a certain way. I'm being so serious right now, actually. Your undergarments made you feel a certain way. It's like when you go on a date and you put on certain undergarments, they make you feel a certain way. The same thing is true for when you are in character and when you have on your costume. It's these little things that affect you. You, wa you will walk different. I'm not gonna go there tonight. I gotta go. And children are watching. Just trust me, okay? So the review. Don't change a thing. Tip number two, prepare to play. Be fluid. Don't be stuck in what you're going to do and how you rehearsed it because that's not what actors do anyway, right? When we're on set, each take might be different because the actor who's giving you the other line may do it in a different way. If you're present, you should be prepared to play. Number three, set your expectations. Expect the best. Use your mind as a useful tool, not a lethal weapon. Expect yourself to book it. Expect them to be happy. Expect them to be laughing and smiling when you walk into the room. Expect them to call your agent and be so happy to offer you the role. Expect that you were on set. Expect that you're killing it on set. Two takes, oh my God, you're fabulous. You're done. Expect that you had a great day. Expect to see the check for that job in your mailbox. Expect to cast that check and show gratitude for that check for the job that you did for a job well done like that's how far i go okay now also we're prepping for a full house and the last tip of the night and the most important is to book the room and release your attachment to the outcome <laughs> if you because last night for last night live last night's live that should sound familiar to you book the room and in, to, in my world, if you're new to me, booking the room means killing it, dropping the mic, doing your job as you're supposed to do, be off book as much as you can, right? And oh, oh, this is another bonus tip. Even though this is a director producer session, still keep your script in your hand. Do not think you're going to impress anybody by not having your script, okay? Keep that script in your hand at all costs. Even if you never look at it, that's fine, but it stays here because in your hand says, this is not the final product. We're still working, we're still playing, we're still workshopping. That is the number one thing. Because at this point you might think, oh, I got it, I'm good. And honey, they would throw you a curveball and be like, let's start at the top of page three. And you'd be like, what the, uh, uh, uh. no, don't do that to yourself. Been there, done that, don't do it. This is gold right here, y'all. Listen, if this video has been helpful to you, I have to go because I have to teach. But if this video has been helpful, give it a thumbs up. If you're watching on YouTube days later, subscribe. If you're listening on the podcast, subscribe, leave a comment, a review. If you want me to work with you, like literally touch you, and let's work together all day, I am coming to Atlanta, August 24th, Bronzelands Film Festival. If you already have your ticket, put a comment in the, um, in the comments so I know to expect you and look out for you. Um, but I'm really excited to do this work. This is the stuff that I wish more people would teach. Um, and they don't always do it for whatever reason, mindset, lack, all that good stuff. So have an amazing night. Oh, this is a big announcement. Tomorrow, look, turn on your notifications. Instagram, unfortunately, this will not apply to you. You might wanna follow me on Facebook or come join our Hollywood Bound Actors Facebook group. Hollywood Bound Actors, that is our online community. Tomorrow I'm releasing uh, an interview with Kina Ferguson. If you've ever had a question about creating your own content, what it takes to do that, whether it's a web series, a film, um, a play, anything, I did an amazing interview with Kina Ferguson. It'll be on the podcast, but I will have the video of that um, streaming on Facebook and on YouTube. It will not be on Instagram. I may put a teaser on Instagram, um, but it is a, an amazing interview, more stuff that we're doing on my Hollywood Bound Actor podcast. Because um, sometimes you're in traffic and you just want to listen in your car or whatever. That's how I am. So look out for that tomorrow. That will not replace me going live, but it will be showcased tomorrow. And I'm so excited for you to experience Kina. And next week, for any of you who've been wanting to work on your dialect or accents, oh my gosh, I interviewed Karen Strassman, who is an amazing dialect coach. 
Oh, that interview's so good. I was like taking so many notes when I did that interview. So that's next week. So, so many good things in store. I love you all. Thank you all for being a part of this amazing community. If we're not connected online, you're missing out because I send stuff to my mailing list and my Hollywood Bound Actors Facebook group, which is free to join. So come on and join us. I gotta go. My inner circle clients are waiting. If you wanted to know what it looks like to work with me one on one, like at a high intensity, level that's my inner circle so you can shoot me a dm or uh leave a comment on facebook and i can send you more information about that but i gotta go bye good night